Recruiting Shortcuts, how to do it faster and get better results. This is the Athletic Scholarship Podcast, episode number 121. Hello, I'm John Fugler, CEO of Recruit Me, an author, speaker, podcaster, and a dad of two scholarship athletes, and thank you for joining me for the Athletic Scholarship Podcast. This episode is sponsored by the new Recruit Me System, a multimedia step-by-step program for high school athletes and families. It just debuted on November 1st. Check it out at recruitme.com slash system. Wow, I'm telling you, it was nice to get a one-week break because I had never done one full week, day after day of podcasts, and I am just so encouraged by the response, uh, folks who said they got a lot out of the Recruit Me Funnel series that I did from prospect to scholarship. And if you did not catch those episodes, go back and do that. Episodes number 114 through number 120, the Recruiting Funnel. Uh, you got to know about it. If you can jump into it and stay in it, then uh, you will indeed have a much better shot of getting an athletic scholarship. While other athletes peel off, you stay in it. I teach you how to stay in it. You just listen to those episodes and you'll find out the truth about pursuing an athletic scholarship and what to do. Uh, In this episode, we're going to talk about recruiting shortcuts. Uh, And I think about the fact that the best way from point A to point B is a straight line. Uh, We'll be talking about that. Uh, and how to make sure that you don't get offline. In fact, uh, how to make shortcuts and make that straight line even straighter. You know, in the real world, we say in a straight line, but actually that doesn't happen in the real world very often. Uh, we, we veer off course. We have to go around obstacles, things like that. So what I want to do for you is is to help you keep it as much as possible along that straight line and give you some shortcuts. Really, as we went through the recruiting funnel, that was ideally how you could go step by step and stay on course, stay on that straight line, not get distracted. And what I laid out for you in those episodes were proven principles, logical step-by-step, a linear approach to the recruiting process, all the way to the school choice and getting your athletic scholarship, and then tack down an episode about overcoming obstacles and barriers. And So go back and, and listen to those episodes. Uh, I also want to point you to a video that I recorded. I'll put a link in the show notes. It's a YouTube video about 15 minutes long uh, called The Recruiting Funnel Explained. Uh, if you don't have time to listen to all those podcast episodes, then check out The Recruiting Funnel Explained video, uh, and I will have a link in the show notes for you to be able to go there and listen to that. Uh, Let's get on with the uh, shortcuts to an athletic scholarship, recruiting shortcuts, how to do it faster and get better results. Uh, Your time is valuable. Everybody's time is valuable. Uh, And you don't want to waste time. You don't want to do things that don't matter when it comes to to pursuing your athletic scholarship. You're gonna have a lot of choices along the way, and I wanna help you. You've got limited resources. You've got limited time, as I mentioned. You've got limited money. You could spend an exorbitant amount of money doing this recruiting thing. Uh, You've probably got limited knowledge, and you've got limited contacts with coaches uh, to reach out to, coaches that may know about your son or daughter. Very limited in those resources, time, money, knowledge, and contacts. So we've got to make sure that we maximize each of those things. Maximize your time, maximize your money. We want to expand your knowledge and expand your contacts. And that's what we'll be talking about with the shortcuts I want to share with you in this episode. And as I mentioned, uh, the shortest distance to your scholarship is a straight line in a perfect world. That's great. This isn't a perfect world, but man, we're going to do the best we can to make it from here to there along the straight line. You may ask yourself this question, are there really shortcuts? Are there really shortcuts? I mean, when you're becoming an excellent athlete, when you're becoming a championship team or a champion athlete, are there shortcuts there? Well, you've got to work hard. You've got to work hard. There's no substitute for that. 
And you've got to work hard as well here when you're pursuing your athletic scholarship. But just as when you're working towards becoming your best as an athlete, when you're working towards that championship as a team, there's wisdom involved. It's not all just hard work. It's working smart and hard. Some people say, uh, don't work harder, work smarter. Well, that's it's not an either or. You've got to work hard and you've got to work smart. And the same is true when you're pursuing an athletic scholarship. So there are shortcuts. There are shortcuts to, uh, to recruiting. Uh, too much information can, can cost you a scholarship. There is a lot of info out there on the web. Uh, you you could spend hours and hours, and many parents do, many athletes do, just exploring things, and your head is spinning by the time you're done. You don't know what's true and what's not, what will work for you and it, what won't. You've got all that knowledge, and, and that can freeze you. That can paralyze you, and it can cost you a scholarship. You end up messing around too much. You end up trying new things, you know, the shiny new object. I know because we went through that. I was... I am susceptible to trying new things. I like new. I don't like to do the same thing over and over again. And I, it could have cost us a scholarship with our twin sons. However, we had somebody who came alongside us personally and made sure we stuck stuck it out, stayed on the path, didn't veer off. And I, I thank Jeff for that. I can't come alongside you personally, but I can come alongside you with these podcasts with the series that we had last week, with the new Recruit Me Athletic Scholarship system, all these things, I can come alongside and make sure that you stay on course. There's such, there's such a, a desire to do well that we'll try anything. And please don't get into that. Stay on course uh, and don't get sidetracked. Uh, what these shortcuts will do that we're going to talk about in this episode, uh, it'll reduce your time. Uh, you'll be able to get the recruiting thing done faster. You'll be able to use your time better. Um, it'll save you money, of course. Second thing, it'll save you money. You're not spending, uh, you're not wasting money. It doesn't seem like a waste at the time, but the things that you, you do that will waste money. Uh, the third thing is you'll find the right fit faster. That is something that, I believe is probably the most important result. You're going to find the right fit sooner or faster. You'll be zeroing in on that short list of schools that you want to pursue as you go down the road. And you won't have to wait till the last minute. If you follow these shortcuts, if you follow really what I have been teaching, even in the recruiting funnel series, it will help you Make sure that you're not just looking for an isolated best team, best scenario without counting in all the factors. And we're going to help you do that in this episode to find the right fit faster. So three recruiting uh, shortcuts I want to share with you in this episode. Uh, here's one that is the top one that's so critical, that's going to save you a lot of time, that's going to get you more to the front of the line with coaches. And I've heard this, and I heard it from a college coach himself. He said, visit the school. Visit the school. When you show up, and I'm not just talking about official visits where they're paying the way, but you show up on your own dime to meet with the coach, you are going to stand out. Not all athletes do that. They wait for the coaches to come to them. But you go to where the coach is, tour the school, see the school, get the full picture, meet with the coach. Meet with the coaching staff, as many of them as you can. Really get get your neck out there, show up, spend a day on campus, talk with the coach, interview the coach, let that coach interview you as well and you will create a memory for that coach. They will know that you're serious. I say that with uh, a stipulation. You can't visit all the schools. I'm not saying that every school on your list you're going to visit, of course. In fact, you probably can't even visit 20. You're going to have to narrow it down. But 
if there's an interest where this, this school is high on your list, go visit it if you can. Some you can't because they're too far away, but there's some you can. Do what you can when it comes to visiting. You are going to, uh, that, that's a shortcut. That is a shortcut that most athletes don't pursue. So that's shortcut number one. Uh, shortcut number two is this. Ask direct questions. Now, what do I mean by that? This is going to be hard. You're going to get some answers you don't like. <laughs> but you want to ask direct questions. Uh, you want to ask the coach what he or she thinks of your talent. You want to ask them if they have openings for your position in the year you're looking to come in. You want to ask them if they're really interested in you. Even ask them, am I scholarship material? You're going to find that in some cases, the coaches are going to answer no, or they're going to be hesitant. But you want to know that. You don't want to continue to go down the road with that school. That's a waste of time. That's why this is a shortcut. You want to get an answer as quick as possible. Now, you're not going to be able to ask all these questions straight off the bat. The coach is going to watch your video. You're going to have some conversations. However, make a list of questions where you need answers so you can either continue to pursue that school or cross it off your list. And you got to have a tough skin. You're going to find out some things that you don't like. However, those are the things you need to know. You are going to be in a good position because most families, they're in the dark. It's cloudy. It's murky. Is the coach really interested in my son? Why hasn't he called in a week or two? Uh, what happened? Is he fall, has my son fallen off that coach's radar? I, I just don't know. You need to get clear answers. So ask direct questions as time goes along. Third thing in this process, you've got to manage your time well. You've got to treat this like winning a championship, playing on a team, improving your your talent and ability. Uh, you got to treat it like you're treating your schoolwork, which I hope is, is good. Uh, you've got to make sure that you maximize your time. Otherwise, if you waste your time, here's what's going to happen. You're going to lose momentum. You're going to get discouraged. You're going to fall off and you're going to give up in this process. What I've found is most families, most athletes that don't get a scholarship but could qualify for one, don't because they stop too soon, they lose interest, they get discouraged. If you've got too much activity going on and you're not maximizing your time, then you will get discouraged and you will fall away and you'll disappear and you won't be on anybody's radar. That's the honest truth. That's a fact. Pick up a, a book or do a training course on time management. Parent, you do it. Athlete, you do it. You can learn a lot together, and these are lessons you, that you can apply for the rest of your life, but they really do work here. So visit schools, ask direct questions, time management, master time management, at least get better. Those are three things that you can do that will, that are shortcuts. And can you see that? You're, you're getting a shortcut by doing that, doing those three things, and they are straightforward. They're simple. Now, I want to throw a fourth one in here that I hate. Okay, so listen to me, and I don't, um, well, I'll just tell you what's on my mind. Uh, and I hesitate to even say this. Uh, I want to tell you about a way you can make sure, because you'll have accountability, you'll have a roadmap, you'll have the tools and resources to make sure you stay on that straight line as much as you can, and that is the new Recruit Me system. I'm not going to sell it here to you. I just want to put it out there. It's got everything you need in order to get to that athletic scholarship. Um, so there it is. <laughs> and I, I was hesitant to even say anything about it because I've talked a lot about it since the new Recruit Me system came out. But it is a shortcut because you'll reject unproductive miscellaneous activities 
and exchange those for ones that work. It's a shortcut because you'll take defined, proven steps. And it's step by step. And it'll help you stay on track. And if you decide to purchase the Recruit Me system, you'll be joining a number of other families who have purchased the new Recruit Me system since November 1st and join them in this journey. Again, you can go to recruitme.com slash system. And that's all I'll say about that. <laughs> We're coming down to the end of 2018. We're just, what, six weeks away? And a reset for 2019 is always a good thing as the new year starts. You might be ramping up, ready to really kick it in 2019 as far as recruiting. It may be prime time for you. The clock is ticking. You turn the calendar over to New Year and you go, man, we are running out of time. The window is closing quickly. Well, these three things that I shared with you, actually four, will help you as you map your course and pursue it in 2019. I uh, would love to hear from you. Tell me what you think. Give me a review on iTunes or your other podcast app that you might be listening to this episode on. But never hesitate to email me at john at recruitme.com. Coming up in a future episode, either next week or the following week, we're going to take that recruiting funnel and we will go ahead and uh, telescope it. We'll give you a condensed version of what I went through in seven episodes and we're going to condense it so you have it all in one episode. I'll be pulling that together in the next couple of weeks for you for one of the next two episodes. Okay, that's it for now. You take care. Have a tremendous week.